What's up, everybody? Welcome to Ask the Bros 10, the finale. My eyes look so light in this. <laughs> Alright, let's, uh, let's dive right in, right? Let's dive right in. Yeah. Uh, you want the first one? So, Wes, Ryan's boy right here. <laughs> He said, okay, I love this series and I can't believe it's ending. Definitely. Yeah. Don't you feel like it's good, like 10? Yeah. I mean, we can we can always bring it back, too. I yeah. Think, yeah. But 10, 10's, dude, it's crazy that we've done 10 already. 10. What the fuck? I know. And plus, plus a Q&A before that. Yeah. Plus, I. so this is probably what, like the 16th video I've been in? Oh, yeah. Probably about that. 16, 17? Yeah. yeah. It's been wild. I'm sure I'll make some like blog appearances or something like that, too. You'll make some appearances. Yeah. By the way, I heard you're starting a podcast. With Anna? Yeah. yeah. Is that a thing? We're trying to think of the name. Yeah. I. D she brought it up to me last night and I was trying to think about yeah, so it. Yes, we're going to think of like All Inclusive, which mm -hmm. I kind of like that name. Yeah, that could be it. I don't know. Let me yeah, think. I Get, don't know. Let me, let me rack my brain She's a, a perfectionist, bit. so I don't think we're going to ever figure out a name. And that's what's <laughs> going to stall us the whole time. What have you learned about yourself through your friendship? Hmm. That's a good question. Um... For me, too, that two people with, like, complete opposite lifestyles and stuff can, like, work together really well. Yeah. Like, essentially. Like, two people from the complete <laughs> opposite sides of, like, life. Yeah. Like, yeah, we have very different lives, very different, like... Viewpoints? No, I don't even yeah. know about viewpoints, but maybe, like... Yeah, I'm trying to think of, like, what else to add to that. I'm, I, yeah, that, you summed that up very well, though. Uh, do you two ever clad or disagree... Yeah, but I feel like any time that we do, it's, like, really, really small stuff. And Wait, it's when have like, we disagreed? I mean, just, like, I, I'm thinking back to, like, some of, the, like, the videos that we've done where it's, like, either you or I will give her an answer and the other person will be like, well, I don't know. But then it's, it, I mean, it, it's so minor that it's, neither it's of us not, have a strong opinion. So no, it's, like. it's not anything worth. Yeah. An nothing, nothing really that's been, like, super serious, I would say. No, not at all. So. What's the weirdest food combination you like? I don't have, really, really anything that's weird. I do a lot of, like. I make a lot of like no. bowls with stuff in it, so it's like I mean, uh, like throwing in like rice and meat and like a bunch of other stuff and a bunch of different spices. And, you know, whatever. So I yes, I don't, I don't really have anything that's like super weird though. It's like really basic stuff. Okay, mine would be I like uh, anything with that has to do with cheese. I like ketchup with it. It really? doesn't fucking matter. What it has it is. to be. It has to be ketchup and cheese. I feel like that's normal. Like I'm thinking, is that like, pretty burgers. normal? Like. Yeah, I mean like mozzarella sticks and ketchup. Well, that'd be like marinara sauce, which is like tomato, which is like close. I don't really like marinara. I just like the the strength of like ketchup, like that. Bam. Yeah. Okay. I, I wouldn't say I wouldn't say that that's crazy. It'd be a little off, yeah, but no. I like cottage cheese on chicken patties. Is that weird? Cottage cheese on I, dude, I've never had cottage cheese before. What the fuck? Yeah. Why not? Know. It's such a bro. It's, it's such a bro it, protein type thing. I know. Just I think it looks weird. Like I. It, it doesn't probably, look appetizing to you. Yeah, I think that's probably it. Yeah, probably. Okay. All right, I got the next one here. Mm hmm All right, Jeremy asks... This is probably for me, I think. Yeah, how did you know it was the right time to come out? Um, I was kind of forced to because my mom would have probably sent me to a mental institution. What? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so essentially, after my breakup... I was like swerving on the road and I was like, I don't want to live anymore. Like I'd make calls. Like it was oh, bad. Shit. It was bad. I probably, did I ever tell you? No, I, I watched your like, like, I watched that video that you had about like, like uh, your like com uh, coming out story. Yeah, I, I never really got, that. Jeez. no, you're good. <laughs> I never really got into that part, but essentially I felt like my mom kept asking what was wrong. She's like, I don't know what else we can do for you. Cause you're like spiraling and i don't know why so that's i had to come out so your breakup was was with the guy right yes gotcha okay yes and you couldn't tell anybody about it right because you yeah. were still in so i was like dude i can't even imagine that i was and we had lived together for i think eight months at the time and then he cheated really so we had all our stuff there and like we had our own place so it was like i and i didn't have anyone to tell so it was like fucking losing my shit dude that sucks oh yeah. my god so scary i can't dude i can't even imagine that like that yeah. would so, I mean, I was kind of forced into it, but it was it was a good for the best. Yeah. How old were you? 21. 21. 21. Wow. 21. Dude, that's that's crazy. Those are the days, bro. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Hootrek asks, where do you see yourself in 10 years? 
in 10 years dude t i i don't really I, I don't really think about like far distant off like future stuff like that you can't, you can't plan your future it's not possible right i mean like dude even if you said like that like i little backstory i moved in with some new guys like nine months ago and it came like out of the blue right. um not even nine months i guess it was september so right yeah it was like super like out of the blue and like I've been doing like super fun stuff with them all the time. Cause and, you like, did move in back with your parents for a while in between. For yeah, it was places. like it was like two and a half months or so. Right. right. Yeah, because I had the roommates I was trying to move in with. We had one of the guys had financial problems, and we were just like, it, I, I had to get screwed twice out of living with them in order for me to jump in with these new guys and it's been like the coolest thing ever so it was like, it worked out for the me, best but it was like you wouldn't yeah even, even if you happening. would have told me like three months but or not three months three weeks before i moved in with those guys that i'd be doing that i wouldn't have believed you you've been like, and like no, my life no, has no, changed no. a ton because of it which like so it's, all that's been for the better which yeah, has been great like i'm going with these guys down in the dominican republic it's so and, exciting uh that's so exciting. a week from tomorrow actually yeah we got really dude, a week from tomorrow dude, hey Hannah's going down too, actually. Um, but it's she is. yeah, we've got we got eleven of us, seven bedroom villa. We got golf carts to ride around the property. Our private pool. They got personal chefs twenty four seven. What? Dude, it's it's on a resort too. How much all do you have to pay for this, or is it? Uh, it's not cheap, but I mean, <laughs> it's not cheap. It's this is this is gonna be like a once in a lifetime experience. Yeah, so they no, got like, you can you have to go all out if you're gonna go that. Family. Yeah, and it's That's so it's cool. gonna be insane, and I'm so excited. Fuck for yeah, it. that sounds yeah. amazing. Yeah. So how did we get to that point? Oh yeah. Planning your life out. Yeah. So I'm, <laughs> I'm just saying like, Oh yeah. You were talking about it, it works for a lot of people. If you have like a big goal like that, where you're like, Oh, like I'm like, I mean, I'm thinking something like you're starting off college and like, you want to be a doctor. That's like 12 years of school. You got to do, then it makes sense to do that. Cause you're obviously right. working towards right. that one thing. But like for someone like me, like I don't even like know what I'm going to be doing in, I, I don't know what I'm going to be doing in the summer even. Right. Like so you just, yeah. So I mean like I, you're not going to come Genu up with a plan just to have a plan. Like, if it's not something you're passionate about, you're not going to work towards something you're not into. Yeah, I, I mean, generally, like, career-wise, I mean, I'm thinking, so, like, I'm 24, so 10 years from now, I'd be 34. Yeah, dude, I have no idea what life's going to look like by then. Like, I have no, no idea. clue. No idea. Yeah, I mean, I my goal, like, career-wise is to be, like, really, really high up, like, vice president of something and uh like I'm, i was a marketing major so like something in that like but it's it's a really really loose goal it's not like my heart is totally set on or anything like that there's so much that could change so you can't it's, it's hard it's it's hard to really give a good answer to that question <laughs> it really is yeah. um so i am putting in for san diego i like i'm physically are you really i'm physically going down there in june to talk to the managers so i can get like actually get in like i'm gonna yeah. Dang, you are really going I'm in on this. I happen. love that. Yeah, I'm making it happen. And I feel like if they know me and like all, I've been with the company almost seven years, so like I have a really good chance. So yeah, I'm going down there with my friend Katie for a week and San Diego sweet. Managers. I think you're, I think you're gonna really like San Diego. Yeah, so San Diego is very like the, it's like the chill like surfer vibe of like California. That's so me. I'll absolutely come visit you. Hell yeah. I'll bring Hannah with me too, so we can yeah. keep doing pod or you guys can keep doing your podcast. Yeah. Oh yeah, you got one more yeah. still. Uh. What hobbies do you have now that you will carry with you in the future? What we're about to go do. <laughs> we're going, lifting, we're going to, bro. We're, we're literally sitting in the parking lot of my gym right now, like <laughs> filming. Uh, we're gonna go lift after this, but yeah, I'm gonna. I, I guarantee I'll be. I'll be lifting. You'll be until, lifting. Until, You'll be lifting until the day, unless I get paralyzed from the neck down. That's the only way. Even then, you would job. find a way like to lift something. Like, yeah, I'll be doing like neck exercises. Yeah, you you'd be. See, yeah, you guys will see me with like a band around my head, like tied to something. I'm <laughs> with just weights doing on this. it. You'll yeah. just, what What's is love? <laughs> yeah, I would say jam. Like that's all I know. I, I'll be making YouTube videos still. Yeah, I don't really have a ton of other hobbies. Actually, that's a lie. Yes, I do. Um, golf, golfing. Yeah, I feel like I'll be yeah. golfing for. I don't golf as much as like, dude. Me I used to, like back back in high school. I would. I mean, when I was playing on the golf team, I'm playing five six days a week. Versus wow. now, it's like. I play like Do you have a lot of friends that really golf? Is that why? Like Yeah, well the there's... new roommates all golf too, so like we Okay. I've got out and played with them a few times even in the fall. I used to be like a really good golfer and I'm I'm now you're trash. I mean I'm okay now. I guess hunting and fishing too. Dude, my grandpa the the last year that he hunted with us and his health was like really bad. Yeah. My dad like built like a, almost like stairs to like get up into his tree stand because like he couldn't get up there. So like my dad would oh, wow. Yeah, my grandpa like in that bad health condition, still got in a stand on all. He was like, "I'm so getting up sick. there." Yeah, like my dad he had to carry it. like his gun and his like 
uh, I think he sat on or whatever up there. And yeah. So like, wow. yeah, he was still up there, which was badass. Um, I really love this question. This top one. Okay. Um, Navy 47 asks, given a choice with branch of service, if given a choice, which brand of service would you branch enjoy? Of service. I told sorry. I'm, <laughs> I woke up like an hour ago, so my bad. I'm like not fully awake yet. You're fine. Um, if there, so yeah, so if there was a draft, which branch would you go into? I think I do Coast Guard. To be honest, you know I almost joined the military. Why didn't you? Well, I'm so, glad you did. But I'm surprised you didn't because this was like right when we were like starting to like hang out and stuff like really? that. Really? Right when? Yeah, it was. Uh, you never told right me. Right before my senior year of college. Um, so basically, the way that like the business world works is if you don't get an internship after your junior year for like that summer or whatever it's near impossible to get a job afterwards like they, you they need that yeah for, you, okay. you they say they're like you don't need it but it's you do you, like you really if you want to get even a kind of decent job coming out of college like you pretty much have to so right um when i was looking for internships my plan was either i get an internship or like military was something i always thought about so i was gonna do um uh, if I didn't get an internship, I was going to go do basic with the Marines down in San Diego over the summer. Really? Camp Pendleton? Come back to... Uh, is that the one? Yeah. Okay. San Diego. Yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. That, that does sound right now that you're saying that. Um, yeah, so I was going to go do basic down uh, down in San Diego with the Marines over the summer, come back and finish school, and then enlist full-time after after I graduate. Because, like, well, if Damn. you have a college degree, it, like, opens a lot more, like, windows for you or whatever. Yeah, you but, have better... Yeah, I ended up getting, like, three or four different offers for internships, so it wasn't really an issue. So that kind of deferred you from... Yeah, plus was my that mom, like last mom was pissed. She was, I, like, fuck Her and man. I had, like, some very deep conversations about it, and she was not happy. She did not want me to do it. But no. she... Knowing me, if I wanted to do it, like... You're gonna do it. Yeah, yeah you're stubborn. So, you're gonna do what the fuck you want to do. So, yeah, I, I, would, I would probably still stick with the Marines. Okay. That's what I would go to. Cool. Yeah. It's, Shout it's, out to all the military members that are watching this. Thank you for your service. Thank you for your service. Um, all right. This is from JFB. He has a few questions. So what's your best survival advice in a nuclear attack? <laughs> there is none. Dude. I mean, if we get, if we get nuke, like if the U S gets nuked, Dude, there's nothing you can do. There I, is like, I, I would, I would love to tell you, like, okay, here's how you, like, no, you're, there, there's a, you're there's a slim you're chance. Done. I mean, if you survive the initial blast, the radiation's probably gonna get to you pretty quickly after, like, at, and like, say you built a bunker, or whatever. Like, why would you want to live in a world where you come up and there's nothing there? That, that's some Walking Dead type shit. Like, I would rather, I yeah. wouldn't want to live in a world like that. Yeah. If you do that though, I think the first thing would be you gotta find water. Like, that would be the first thing. But it would be all like contaminated. Yeah, so you're... <laughs> you're dead. We are just a bunch of balls of sunshine today. <laughs> we really are. If 2022 was the last year of humanity, what would what would be on your to-do list? Mm. <sighs> That's a good question. I don't know. I, I feel like I've done, like... I, I feel like I've done pretty much everything that, like, I like I've really always wanted to do. Mm -hmm. I guess skydiving is kind of like the one thing, but it's like if I never skydive, I'm not going to be super You're not going to cry it. about it. Yeah. yeah, I mean, like, that would that would be something to be cool to do. I think, yeah, that, and then I'd, I don't know, I'd probably probably travel a little bit more, too, which I have been doing an insane amount of already. So like, you're getting every... Yeah, dude, like, since since September, I've gone uh, my cabin multiple times, uh, New Mexico for a week for elk hunting, uh, Vegas twice, Nashville. Shit. Yeah, now I'm going. You've lived such a full week. life already. Like I think you're fine. Oh, and uh, little town up past um, up past Duluth to go skiing for a weekend too. Really? Yeah, Giants Ridge. Was it nice up there? Yeah, they didn't really have any runs open because there wasn't a lot of snow on the ground. It was like early oh, December, wasn't. so okay, yeah, yeah, it took a while. To yeah, snow they only too. had a couple of runs that were open, and it was all fake snow, but like it was still super fun. I would say I traveled too. Essentially, yeah. I, I feel satisfied with my life, honestly. Mm -hmm. Do you want to adopt another bird? No. No? No. Why not? I I would feel guilty in a way. Like, I don't want to try to, like, replace that. And I just feel... I don't know. I don't really need an animal right now. If I do, I'd probably get a dog, but... Hmm. I don't know if you're necessarily, like, replacing them, though. I mean, yeah, but it's just, like, nothing will ever be as good in that sense. I'm like, I don't even care. Mm -hmm. And I already got rid of the birdcage and everything, so I'm not oh. rebuying that. Um, can Ryan finally make up his mind and do this gym video? He did. Dude, we he did. did. And it bombed. It did so bad. 
Did it bomb? Did yes. it honestly bomb? Dude, I went back and watched it a couple weeks ago, actually, and I was like, this is not very, like, the the first, like, couple minutes or whatever, we're, we're just, like, sitting talking. I think it was pretty clear. I didn't have, like, a great plan of what I wanted to say. So you, I was like, you didn't okay, like, I kind of want to hit on this, kind of want to hit on that. Because it was it, also, like, right after I came home from work and I was, like, drained. Yeah. Do you feel like it wasn't structured the way, like... No, I think it was fine. I think that, I think the reason that, like, it just didn't do great was, like, the people that subscribe to this channel are subscribing because of you and your content. And even though, you know, you and I have, like, the gym is a huge part of our lives, that's not yeah. the reason that people are subscribed to your channel. So, like, a lot of people aren't going to, like... The algorithm wasn't able to pick that up. Yeah. And, like, I mean, that. we've we, we have talked so many times about, like, doing another, like, gym-type video. The problem, we just, like, there's nothing that, like, we can really, that we've really thought of that would fit with, something that'd be interesting for us to do that would make a good video and that you guys would all enjoy. There's absolutely like it's, nothing it's, we can possibly, we've thought of every option. Yeah. I mean, there's, there's been a few suggestions that we've got that we've like talked about and it's been like, okay, I like get a good idea here and here, but like, here's the problem with it. And there's always like a massive issue where it's like, yeah, no, yeah. I, I, I really wanted to do the uh, 24 hours in the gym challenge, but lifetimes aren't open for 24 24- hours a day anymore they're not yeah no. you can't really find any gyms that are open 24 because they always yeah maybe we'll, one day we're not we'll, gonna we'll keep, shut we'll it keep down forever, of it. Yeah. yeah if you have any ideas let us know um so yeah ryan did make a gym video uh i will yeah, it's called uh how to get started in the gym i think yeah you can yeah can otherwise just it. scroll back you just scroll back yeah look at the lowest view count video i have <laughs> just kidding yeah all right Brittany uh, tn t-i-a-n I'm gonna go with Tian. I'm sorry if I'm screwing that up. Dude, we butchered so many names on these. Th that's There's probably so the, many the worst. That are on. Every video we butcher a name. Yeah. Okay. Ah, uh, every time. All right, Brittany. Uh, have you ever heard a bad rumor about yourself at school, and how did you manage it? Ooh, that's that's good. a good question. That's I like that. Um, there's not really like crazy ones that I can think of that got like out of control or anything. Mm -hmm. I mean, I guess, like, there was, like, smaller ones or whatever. I think here, here's the way that, like, I would think about it is, like, if somebody comes to you and, like, says, like, oh, I heard you, whatever, mm -hmm. like, just set the record straight and, like, after that, who cares? Like, yeah, it genuinely. I mean, if there's, if there's people out there that, like, assume stuff about you and, like, heard something about you and didn't even, like, go back to you to, like, see if it was true or not, like, then you're probably not that close to them and who cares what they think. Yeah, who actually cares? Um, mine can, I can think back to elementary school or not elementary school, middle school. There was one rumor that went around. So I would constantly just space out in class. Like, that's just what I would do. Mm -hmm. And I guess the way I was spacing out, someone thought some girl thought I was looking at her. So she spread a rumor that I like stare at girls. And that was, like, <laughs> that was a thing for two fucking years. And it's like, what? Brandon stares at girls. Yeah, I, sh I stare at girls. I'm like, okay, that's cool. All that's right. Awesome. Whatever. <laughs> that's gonna be the rumor. That's fine. That's funny. Yeah, I don't think I had any that stuck around really long. Second question: Have you ever had a one night stand? And if yes, would you do it again? Or did it affirm that you need a connection to hook up? Okay, I need to go first on this question. Okay. <laughs> you, you need time to think. Uh, <laughs> I don't. But okay. <laughs> like what? Um. Okay, so I, I think of a one-night stand as, like, you meet someone at a bar and you take them home. I've never done that, so, like, that's that's not how I would word it in the sense that I'm talking about. So I'm going to refer to it as, like, meeting someone to hook up, because I feel like... I don't know, is a one-night stand just, like, an outdated word? No, no, I think, think so? I think for you to classify it as a one-night stand, it has to be, like, it was a one-time thing and nothing happened after that. Can you just call that hooking up? I guess I just don't like that phrase for some reason. Well, I mean, I think I think if you say hooking up, you it could be one night, it could be multiple times. Oh, I guess. Ver versus if you use it in the past tense, like oh, but does I, one I night stand have so -so. to mean full on sex, like full sex? Uh because that's what I'm having the issue with. Because it is no right? kind of. Because then you would say, oh, I I hooked up with someone, like. Well, well see, you can you can use hookup to mean pretty much anything it's such a general term yeah it's a safe term for sure yeah it's less descriptive yeah i think it's i think if you say just hooking up it like there's like a broad spectrum i think one night stand would be like i don't know would uh, it be sex? like honestly would it not like I, I don't think it has to be i think it's got to be close though 
So is your answer is your answer no or yes? <laughs> Sorry, that was uh, I haven't gone all the way, but like I've met someone just to like fool around. But it's like a lot of the times, either we're on a date and then it happens, and then I'm we're just is, I'm just not interested, or I go with the intent of just like fooling around. But I never have gone all the way. Okay. Unless I was. I, I feel like almost everybody would at least fit that. Yeah. Right? I feel like that's very general. Yeah. Like I feel like I feel like that there's a lot of people that would be. On have that you level. had a one night stand? Uh, yes. Sorry, Grandma. I know that she's gonna watch this. She's Hi, gonna, Grandma Candy. She's gonna text me about it and just be like, "Why are you talking about that? I already <laughs> know it." <laughs> yeah. Um. Did the firm that you did affirm to you that you need a connection to hook up? Yes, I, I haven't done that in a very long time. Um, <laughs> you're like, hmm. uh, <laughs> well, I, I'll go on a date with someone, and if like we end up having a connection, whatever, and if it doesn't work out, but I never go in anymore with just the intent of hooking up and never talking again. Okay, that's that's where I'm at. Okay. Uh, my answer is no, and I'm gonna leave it at that. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Uh, there you go. Top one. Uh, I'm gonna butcher the name. I'm sorry, Derek. Our beater. I also want to say you guys submitted probably like 50 questions total. Like, there's so many. Mm -hmm. Um, I just picked like either ones that we haven't answered or ones that I feel like would be super fun to answer. So, if we didn't like a uh, answer all your questions, that's because I had to cut down. Yeah. If uh. If any of your questions got cut out or you didn't even get shouted out, please send Brandon a very angry DM. Yeah. <laughs> On all social media platforms. Call me out and cancel me. Yeah. Um, have you ever thought about moving? So, yeah, I discussed I'm going to make San Diego happen, hopefully in September. Um, my mom just retired, so she won't be needing me to help pay the bills anymore or pay rent. So are we defining moving as, like, out of the state? I, I don't think it has to be. Okay, I mean, like, Me, I'm I'm sure that's what he's asking, though. Yeah, I like, moved. I moved. He doesn't care if you're moving across the fucking street. Like, no one cares. I was gonna say because I've moved four times in the last like three years. So, oh yeah, you you're couch surfing. To... <laughs> I'm not couch surfing. <laughs> I went from college, back home for a little bit, um, at home meeting with my parents, and then moved out to a different spot with a couple buddies for uh like 15, 16 months, something like that. Um, back home for two and a half months and then to this new spot back in September. So you've been around. Yeah. That's I mean, it's, awesome. it's all been in different cities too, which like is cool, but I mean, it's that all like, cool. it's all like twin cities. Are you happy to be settled in one area now though? Like you, I mean, you, yeah. you don't plan on moving soon. I mean, our lease is up in September, so maybe so yes, you're moving soon. Dude, moving Unless... sucks. It's so not fun, but like out of the state wise, I mean, when I was looking at schools, I guess like I, the idea obviously has to cross your mind, but, mm -hmm. um, as far as out of the state, I, I guess it's like come across my mind or something like that. But I feel like, I feel like I haven't like done it super seriously. And you would have moved if you would have gone in the military to like do training in San Diego. So like, yeah. And then, yeah, I mean, then it just hasn't happened. To, who knows where it so. hasn't happened out of state for you. Yeah. There, there has been opportunity where that would make sense. Yeah. I don't know if I'll like, I, I'm not going to say for sure at some point I'll leave Minnesota. I, I feel like there's a decent chance I'll be here forever, but I mean, who has any idea? DJ mix and magic. That's a actually a dope name. I looked at it first and it's like all lowercase and I was yeah. like, I have no idea how to say this, but Mix and Magic. Yeah, DJ cool. Mix and Magic. Cool, cool, cool. Uh what's it like to be a gay Christian? How do you deal with people who say you can't be both? Um This is deep. This is really deep. It is. It's more about finding a place where I feel accepted more than like I don't care what other people say. But like for me it's about my own relationship with God, not what else everyone else views me like it's it's not between me and them it's between me and god so like everyone has their own relationship so i don't feel like anyone's opinions on that matter except my own towards that i like that so That's yeah good. nothing's ever affected me in that way it's just like mm. as long as i feel accepted at the place like i don't care what other people say have you ever had somebody say that you can't be both they'll like shame gay people for not going to church but then they'll shame them if they go to church because they're like why are you here so like I nothing that ever makes sense. Yeah, nothing that's like mm -hmm. backed up. Yeah, see, I feel like I feel like with a lot of what's classified as a sin is like something that you choose to do. Like being gay is not a choice. So right, I, that's the one that like I've kind of always struggled with. It's what, weird. It's weird. Yeah, it's very weird. Yeah, I should clarify for people that are just watching this. I'm straight. That's why I'm not answering that question. But yeah. like I, being a Christian, it's like it, it's kind of like that weird like cross. I mean, like. 
gluttony you're choosing to eat a bunch of food like pride you're choosing to be like really proud of yourself there's right which i never got that one either that one doesn't make sense to me it's like shouldn't you be proud of who you are yeah what the hell like i don't know um is there just that fine line between like self-confidence and like pridefulness confidence i feel like would be fine it's arrogance that's the issue i think that it's if you're using it in a negative way i think it really depends on how you're using it that's true too yeah if you're like, oh, I look great, but you look great too. Like, not like, oh, I'm better than you. Like, look at me. Yeah. I'm like above you. I think it has to do with that more so. Okay. Yeah. That that would make a lot more sense. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. I don't know. It's a, it's, I mean, it's a, it's a tricky topic. Like. You, the two things we'll never talk about, politics and religion. <laughs> and yeah, we did say that. And we've talked about both on multiple occasions. <laughs> yeah. Whatever. Whatever. Yeah. There's no holding back. Here. You haven't said anything like, I, I feel like that would really offend anybody though. Um. No, I think just, like, people were a little... Some people were irritated that, like, I said I wasn't political. Um, but... And that's... I mean, on the political scale, there's, like, the extreme right and the extreme left. Only those people in those, like, top 1 or 2% are going to be the people that are that, mad at you. That'd be my guess, but... Um, yeah. Okay. Uh, my turn to ask? Oh, yeah, sorry. Pooh Bear, NY, New York. Ah, sad it's the finale, but here's the question. What are some things you have learned about each other since doing Ask the Bros? Hmm. What are some things you've learned about each other? Something, I think things that, like, are, we're like, wow, that happened to you. Like, things that shocked us, maybe. Hmm. That we didn't know, like, just knowing each other at Lifetime before we made a video. Like, what have we learned since making the videos? I guess I've gotten to know your story about like coming out a lot better. Yeah. I mean like, yeah, I watched the video for sure, obviously, but I, like that was kind of the only like frame of reference that I had. So I guess I've learned a lot about that too, but mm -hmm. I don't know. I feel like there's been like a few like smaller things, but nothing that's been, that's like absolutely shocked me or anything like that. I've kind of learned like why you are the way you are. <laughs> <laughs> what is that supposed to mean? No, in the best, <laughs> best, absolute best way possible. <laughs> I just kind of know, like, I understand your thought process on things. It all makes okay. sense to me. And I guess that's something, like, because we were so different when I, we first met, like, I didn't know why, like, you made the decisions you made just in general. But now, like, it all makes like complete sense. You mean with, like, partying or, like, lifting every single day? It was lifting and, like, dating, your dating life at the Do time. Dating life you, you know that, yeah. at the time. So I was like... At the At the time. <laughs> <laughs> I had, on I had to kind of go through something like that to like realize, oh, that's why he did what he did. Like, yeah, it all made sense. So I just, it was with experience and talking it out. Like, yeah. I'm a, I'm a very like logical thinker. So yes. like, yes. Yeah. There are times where like, I'll like do stuff that like won't make sense to somebody until like you explain why you're doing it. And then it's like, yes. oh yeah. I and totally then it made it. complete sense. Yeah. yeah. So just kind of like figured out how to like get into your brain in a way and like figure out how you process things. And yeah. I, I get it hundred <laughs> percent. So that's Sweet, cool. Yeah. Yeah. I, uh, yeah. I've got like some like very close like female friends or whatever who like kind of say like, you know, because a lot of women think a lot more like emotionally. So like they'll mm -hmm. like come to me with stuff or whatever. I'll be like, okay, well, logically, like here's here's why here's this. like this, this and this. And they're and they're like, oh, that actually makes a lot of sense. And it's like, yeah, yeah. you just got to step back. It's like you have to take your emotions out of the equation to figure out like how to actually solve something. Yeah. That's why outsider perspectives are so good. Like when you're. If you're going through like a breakup or something, you need someone that's not involved in the situation to logically think out, well, this makes sense because of this. Yeah. Cool. So, so I was thinking for the last part of this, we each ask each other a question. Oh crap! I didn't prepare anything. Okay. Anything. <laughs> anything. It's okay. Last... You have a question for me? No. Speaking of this whole series, you guys have crushed. I mean, so thank you. There's like been so many questions. You, you are the only reason why we did this series. Like, because without questions, we can't do this ourselves. Yeah, this, this isn't like this series isn't possible without you guys. So, I mean, like, yeah, we could we could have like made a bunch of them up, but like, that's not fun. That's not fun. Yeah. And do you remember like the, when the first one like blew up? We were like, whoa, what's happening? Like, yeah, yeah. The I think the first one we did got like six thousand views or something like that. Yeah, like four thousand something. I don't know. It it went wild. I'm curious yeah, now. I kind of want to know. Up. Yeah, not to brag, but I'm pretty sure that I'm in the like five of your top seven videos. No, you like are that. for sure. Yeah. <laughs> um, the very first Ask the Bros that we did five. was 5.1 thousand. Nice. That's so cool. Damn, that's a 47 minute episode. <laughs> Is it really? Yeah, 46.45. Oh, that's lady. Yeah. Yeah. See, dude, I do watch most of these. 
You do. The um, Q&A off limits. Uh, the protein brownies was 2.7. I'm glad people like that one because I find 1. that one so freaking funny. I, that's probably my favorite video we've done is the protein brownies. Really? It's so funny to me. The whole thing's so funny. We're so fucking dumb. Like, you can't make fucking brownies. <laughs> All we had to do is add some fucking protein powder. Like, it's not that deep. Like... The smoothie challenge was a good video too. That oh, one was yeah, 1. that 7. was that was fun. That was really fun. I love that we're like reminiscing over these. Yeah, two thousand. I had told wow. people um, it was my hundredth video where I kind of like explained everything through my channel from beginning to the end. I talked about how we had to film the benching video in two different days. Like I had done it all, but you forgot to record two of the sets I did. <laughs> yeah, that was my bad. So a day later, I wore the same outfit and you filmed me yeah, redoing right. we the sets. And One, my two, chest was so sore. <laughs> five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen. You've had nineteen videos with over a thousand views. And I've been in one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten of them. That's so awesome. <laughs> Thanks, Ryan. Yeah, <laughs> this is going to be way back. Here's my question for you. I was going to say, go for it. What is your end goal with the gym? Like, <sighs> dude, that's uh, like, do you want to go for Do you want to be the biggest guy in the gym? Do you want to be the strongest guy in the gym? Or do you just want to like look good? Do you just want to be healthy? Like, what is your actual goal? Because mm. you're there every day. Like there has to be some goal you're working towards it can't just be like an addiction unless it is i mean it kind of is <laughs> <laughs> ultimately like what's kind of crazy that like i've really realized in the last like year or so is that so much of me like going to the gym every single day which don't do it guys like this is my sixth day in a row i'm hopefully turning good. into you good <laughs> i'm gonna do six days a week like not yeah you can you, like you can go like i mean if your body's like capable of doing it and you're like rotating muscles to where you're not like doing that. yeah you you can like it's it's doable for like short periods of time but like with 99 percent of the population like you're gonna burn out it's gonna happen so and then you're just gonna quit and like not be motivated yeah something like that i've really realized is like a lot of it is like so much more for like the mental health more than more than like because you feel off if you don't go oh yeah like yeah like i'll like i'll straight up like i'll lose my mind it, it took me a long time for like me to realize like oh that's like the real reason that i'm going and like that makes there's sense. been so like there's been so many times too where like i've been so stressed out from work and i like it I, always I, I come in here and it's like as soon as like I, the first thing I pick up that's like super heavy, it's like it just kind of like just melts away. Yeah, because you're kind of holding on to all that stress and then just like releasing yeah. it. Yeah, yeah, it's like it's th yeah. The gym is like it, it, the gym is the best outlet. Like, how have you you've never heard somebody say, "Oh yeah, I started working out six months consistent or like six months ago, and like I I've been consistent ever since, and my life got worse because of it." No, you've that doesn't never happen. Heard that happen. Never. You got Never. It. Yeah, it's probably the endorphins and all that shit going yeah, around. Yeah, but... Yeah. Do you want, like... Okay, now, this question. Do you want size or strength? If you could only pick one, what is more important to you? Um, When you say size, you mean, like, aesthetics, right? Yeah, do you want to be the biggest guy in the gym or the strongest guy in the I'd gym? I'd rather look like I can bench 500 pounds and actually be able to. So you want to be both? I like, want to... Ryan doesn't settle for one or the other. No, I'd, I'd, rather, I'd rather look... I'd, I'd rather look the part. That's... Majority okay. of my training is bodybuilding, but, like, I do do some powerlifting stuff, too, but... Ultimately, like, I do want to compete in bodybuilding at some point. Um, I just, you easily like, could. You totally could. <laughs> Your body fat percent is low enough where you could eat. Dude, I'm heavy right now. I'm up to one, I was up to 179 when I got back from Vegas. You're heavier than me. Am I really? What the flying fuck? I'm 175. Are you really? Yeah, I lost, like, 20 pounds. Like, you, a good 20 pounds? Yeah, like, I cut, and now I've been bulking for, like, three months, and I haven't... I've only gained muscle, not fat. So I'm eating, like, the first month, 3,200 calories, and it's, like, working... Are you tracking too? Yeah, I track good everything. Good for you, man. That's thank awesome. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah, yeah. I think my strength uh, isn't that good though, but yeah, I, I I do want to compete at some point. Um, but I two reasons: a like I'm I'm way too competitive to just do a show just to do a show. Like honestly, could, could I hire a coach, walk on stage in three months, and not get last at like a local show? Yeah, I probably could. But like, I don't want to do one just to do one. Like, I want to have like a shot at winning. I don't. I don't quite feel like I have enough size. You want to feel very organized and like very prepared. Yeah, yeah. I'd have to put more time into it too. Plus, on top of that, like, if we're being honest, like I'm not done partying yet, and like, you can't. Do You're that. not going to be able to discipline yourself right now. At yeah, I mean, like, life, like it's fine for the people who don't know. Like the the three months that you have leading up to the show, you are like. It's so insane how dialed in you have to be. Like, you cannot have a drop of alcohol. Uh, oh, nice. Look at this. 
Look at Brandon. Brandon's turning into an alcoholic. No, I'm, I'm not. So pro I oh, there's <laughs> multiple in here. What? Oh yep. my God, you're a drunk. No, I'm not. <laughs> I don't even have alcohol in my car. Actually, yes, I, I actually have, forgot but... it in there. I just thought of it when you're talking. I don't know why. I'm just like <laughs> Ryan drinking. Ooh, alcohol. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I'm at a point right now where like I'm traveling so much. Still, how often do you drink? Uh, I mean, it depends. Like if I'm going like on like a vacation or whatever, like there's there's a chance like I'm gonna be on like a pretty good bender for a couple You're days be in on a row. Bender, yeah. Versus like, I mean, if I'm just if I'm just at home or whatever, I'll probably drink. I don't know. I I don't drink a like super often. It's like once or maybe twice a week. Mm -hmm. But like usually when I do, it's like we're going out and like I I have quite a bit. But yeah. Yeah, I get what you mean. It's it's more about like e either vacations or like the weekend. You're not just at home getting plastered by yourself. No. Like it's not like that. No. Um, I would say I drink two drinks a month. Dude, I'm so proud of you. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Yeah, like I'll go. Like I, I love this brewery downtown. Like, All those breweries are like very, very chill so spots. They're so good, yeah. yeah. So I'll just have, just have one and just yeah. chill with my friends and laugh. I get Dude, super, sweet. super fucking buzzed off one. Well, yeah, because you have no tolerance. No tolerance. And it's wonderful. It's cheap. $6. I'm like, I'm good. Yeah, I remember freshman year. <laughs> Dude, I, I've been forever I freshman year. I saved so much money. <laughs> the older you got, the more money the bill just went. Yeah, well, see, here's the thing. It's like it buying drinks out of like the liquor store or whatever. Not expensive at all. The problem is when you go to the bars, that's when it gets expensive. Right, right. Especially right. like, I mean, being in the Midwest, like drinks are pretty cheap. It's not that bad. You know yeah. how much I paid for a drink in Vegas? What? Fifty six dollars. <laughs> now, One to drink. be fair, it was like five shots worth though, and it was like this big. So was that all the drinking you did for the night? That was the afternoon. <laughs> and no, I pregame that party oh, hard before shit. that. That was at a pool party. Oh, you spent so much money. It was it was a bachelor party. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Fair enough. Okay. Yeah, that was the most expensive drink I ever bought. Though. What's your question for I, me? We got off topic again. I love right as we said we've been on topic this whole time. We get off. We topic. get completely off. Yeah. Um. My question for you. Hmm. Who's texting you? <laughs> Katie. Okay. What's 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 the goal with the YouTube channel? What's my goal with this? Yeah. Fuck. Hmm. I guess I just want to help as many people I can and share like my experiences and I feel like it's therapy to share my life and when people can relate that makes me feel good so yeah um, my goal I guess like if I move to Cali I could do a bunch of Cali vlogs like and meet new people and like my channel could just go off in a completely different direction I'm excited for that possibility mm -hmm. of, like really changing it up yeah that's sweet yeah. I like that thank you so thank you guys for these wonderful questions. Ask the Bros 10, the finale. It's been wonderful. It's been real. Thank you, Ryan, for all these videos. We're Dude, gonna... I'm happy to do it. I'm yeah, happy to... It's been fun. It's been fun. We're going to go lift. Yeah. And peace out. Thank you, guys. Whatever! Like, subscribe, <sighs> hit the bell button notification, leave us a comment. Gym ideas. Gym, gym ideas. Gym ideas. Gym ideas. Um, shoot Ryan a DM. Yeah. See ya. <laughs>